Okay, hello guys. Um, so, obviously my let's play on um, on Hero of Sparta is not doing well. So um, I'll do something else instead. A game, really. This game has got to be my favorite game of all time. Hold on to the volume. I'm going to pump it up for this one. Welcome to Resistance Fall of Man. So yeah, the game was quite a hit as far as I know. I got it only a few months ago. And it is absolutely amazing. I love this game. I've already completed it twice on easy, of course. Because otherwise I cannot do this. I never even tried though. But really, this game is amazing. The command threat began in Russia. The origin of the virus is unknown, but its effects were devastating and swift. In the 1930s, reports of biological experiments began leaking out of Russia. Then reports of villages destroyed overnight. Then entire cities. Tom, tom, tom. We feared the Russians had developed a weapon of unparalleled power. The nope. truth was far worse. Yep. The Chimera stayed sealed within Russia for over a decade. Then, in 1949, the they launched an attack, attack that overwhelmed all of Europe in a matter of weeks. For several months, we thought England was safe. But in October of 1950, the Chimera burrowed under the channel. We had prepared for them. But in three months' time, the war was lost. We abandoned the cities to the Chimera and retreated to scattered military bases and outposts. The Chimera had won. That's pretty much how it happened. On July 11, 1951, but the Americans launched an assault on the eastern coast of England. In the matter of a few days, that assault was a sergeant named Nathan Hale. Us. The actions of that soldier have become a matter of both scrutiny and myth. We will what follows are the literally of his life. From July 11th to July destroy 14th, the Chimera in the uh, Britain in the matter of three days. From the 11th to the 14th. Three days. And we're supposedly just a normal dude. And for the first mission, we are just a normal dude. I think. Are we just a normal dude? I think we're just a normal dude and maybe I need to adjust this. So, welcome to mission number one. It's not exactly the easiest mission of the game though. Go figure. I know. That can be good. The operation was an exchange. The Americans were bringing supplies and tanks into York. We were giving them our one secret weapon. Something we could offer that they couldn't build themselves. I was the commander of the convoy team that was to meet the US soldiers. We were ambushed in Manchester on the way to the rendezvous. There was no way to warn the Americans. They were on their own in York, fighting an enemy they knew nothing about. We never learned exactly what happened there. All we know is that Nathan Hale was the sole survivor. So. There were 12,000 Americans coming in, and one survived. That's to tell you how dangerous the enemy is. And yeah, they're not exactly exaggerating. Those guys, the first time you play the game, they are a pain of the... Nah. But if you play a second time, it's a lot easier. So yeah, the gauntlet, mission number one. For part for part one. Let us begin. That can't be good. Yep, where's Sergeant Hale? And we only oops wrong switch. So you thought the guys in Killzone were nasty? Well, 
right now they still are in ST, but um, in this game they will soon be getting a lot more nasty. Right now they're really the weakest. But then by the end of the game they're unkillable. It's and people are burning. And I picked up their Wow, I'm a douche. People are burning, I'm just picking up their weapons. Whoa whoa whoa, whoa. where'd you get there? Yeah for now. But only for now. We can allow allow ourselves to just run into their guns and whack in the face when there's only one of them. By the end of the game, that's the best way to commit suicide. You'll understand why much later in the game. And you will see what I mean. That's more important. Just... And now there's... Oh my god. Just random American soldiers dying. And for now, that's about it. And it's the only mission where random American soldiers die because it's the only mission where we find American soldiers. Then they're all Brits, except for one guy. As far as I remember, at least. But that is not the question. The quit Now, the problem with the AI of the game is that enemies, wherever they are, they will shoot your face off. See? He's moving around. He's doing everything. He it's impossible to take a good aim. But somehow, he can just shoot you also something that everybody might not like there's no way of sprinting in this game you're stuck at the same speed whichever your weapon may be so rule number one be quicker than the enemy rule number two don't save your ammo that's the best way to die and rule number three be quicker than your enemy and that's the Reaper. So this is arguably the best weapon in the game. Because, wait, look. That's the Carbine. That's the, probably the most accurate weapon in the game, apart from the Sniper Rifle. And you see, it's just... You saw, it's not exact... It's not extremely powerful or anything. But it's pretty good. The Reapers are the weakest weapon in the game, but... And I said but, so that means there's something good. You can aim at two targets at, at a time. And my guys are getting shot to hell. And they died. So we can shoot two enemies at a time. And you can also do two melee attacks at a time. That might not seem like much, but late in the game, you'll see that it's a fairly nice addition to the thing, to the weapon. For example here. You swipe your face off, and I'm really low on health. That's not good. I cannot finish the mission like that. Oh fuck! Yeah, so this is the only reason why this mission is not the easiest one in the game. It's because you have very little health and no way to recharge it. And look around. So yeah. Oops, grenade, wrong switch. That blew up the car for Hey, hey, where's my bullseye? Oh, there it is. That's my most used weapon of the game. It's not exactly very accurate, but it's got a nice addition to it. It's called... The bullseye tag. Oops, wrong switch. Bullseye tag is, you pick a name, you shoot, and then... You shoot the guy and all the bullets are just gonna go on that guy. Or he's also the bullseye trap, but that's something else that's really hard to use in this game. Wait. Um, yep, I failed. Ah, oh, fucking hell! I'm too low on health. I'm too low on health. So, anyways, a uh, quick, like, review of the weapons. The carbine, very accurate. Shoots uh, with a grenade launcher attached. Reapers, you can shoot two targets at a time. And bullseye, very good for close combat. And uh, with a homing tag on it. Nice addition. And here, I know exactly what happened here. 
crosses and moves. And I died. See, I knew I couldn't finish with that low health. Where's the last checkpoint? I knew it was going to be time to stop here. So, yeah, that was not very good. Sometimes I can do this mission without dying, sometimes I can, this time I couldn't. That really sucked.